back with the greatest joy I welcome you. We have some tea and some water for our guests. My colleague Damien will bring that to us. Uh, that's tea for and water for, 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 uh, for Patricia. Patricia you. Strong, you're very welcome. You. Uh, Eamon O'Connor, you're very welcome. I do hope you enjoy your tea. You. People of Ross River. Yes, uh, it's, absolutely. It's, you're always welcome here. You have a magnificent place. The Ross Connection, Fiddler's Green, the Star Spangled Festival oh, that's awesome. coming. And it's just a joyful enough place. I did a poem this morning here of Yeats, uh, William Butler, and I was musing it entirely possible around about the 1900s. He may have perambulated around Rostrever in his own time there because it's a place that draws artists. Uh, I and believe musicians. he actually he described it as he, he, as the oh the most beautiful water. He did. He did. He was here and he made it. He described That's it as the most thought. beautiful watering hole or something like that. Yeah. Since. He compared it to Naples. Wow, of course. Yeah. Will you not quarrel oh, with well, that? I had a grandfather and he was in Naples and he said Rostrever definitely was better. But Our you see, Rostrever has a wee bit of quality there. Yeah. You have that sort of verdant pasture land yeah. of the low hills. True. The trees are there. You know, if, if, if you had a mist constantly there, you would find gorillas in the mist uh, almost. <laughs> but it's, a place, <laughs> it's a place of adventure and it's lovely. Yeah. Uh, and even even the fast bicycles have contributed, not taken away. Yes, it's yeah. well, some of the sh views that they're showing on on websites have showed up to its yeah. best, you know. It's amazing, and we've had many visitors down through the years. I was doing a list of them the other day between Maria Edgeworth and um, Canning, who was a writer, and up to Vanessa Redgrave and wow. Judy Dench, of course. So yes. we. They all keep coming. They do, and why wouldn't they, for goodness yeah. sake? I shall be going to you eventually, I do believe. That's maybe where sort of some of my ashes will be sprinkled, you see. There's Up no there, do you, know the, do you know the saddle out from the mast, or out to the horizon? Yes. Yeah, they, 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 that's a lovely part of Ross Trevor. Mm. And once you come to the end, you come down up over the saddle, and there you're standing on the ledge. Wow, what a view down below across yeah. the, the lock. Yeah. But you guys are blessed. It's a wonderful place. I know. Absolutely. It's a good place to come home to. It is. When you say come home to, does that imply you've been away? On holidays, yes. Yeah, but yeah, every yeah. time you go on holidays, you, you love coming you love back. Coming it's back. Never yeah. So I, I am a native, lived there all my life, born in yeah. Trevor and still there. A blessed, <laughs> a blessed place. Eamon, you went away and you went to the Camino and I you did. walked it. I did. Walk You've recovered away. fully from that. I have, yes, yes. Have you any plans for going back? Um, I would love to go back for if I was talking to Brian O'Callaghan's son last night, yes, and yes. Uh, he was talking. We that, that, the, the conversation quickly came round to the Camino, so um, and he was plan He's planning to go again, and I said I would like to go again. Though I'm having a reunion with some of my, some of the friends wow. that I made, but we're meeting in California. What a what a <laughs> wonderful <laughs> idea! But how, whose idea was that? Well, one of the guy it was one of the the people that we met was from California, yeah. and uh, he has a home in 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 California, and he invited us to his home wow. for a week. So it's it's on the beach, and I believe he has a vineyard as well. So it's, it's, I'll I'll put up with it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll have to get the Fiddler's Green Festival over and done with first. Ah, uh, yes, yes. How is it going? Tell me what's happening. Well, thankfully, with the, with the great weather, it's been, you know, it's, it's contributed. We've had big crowds every night, you know, in, in the square. Yeah. I always feel that, to me, there's obviously the two main things are the things in the square and the things that go on in the, in the club. Mm. Um, we've had good attendance in them and the music's been very good. But I, I just to me, the heart of it is, is what goes on in the square. I mean, I mm. love to see crowds in the square and the people yeah. of the village. And surrounding areas and, and coming back and, and enjoying Have you had the Fiddler's Green event yet where you all walk up? We do. Yeah. We, we do that. We did that last, uh, last. we always did that the first Sunday. Yeah. So we start off, um, actually, uh, I take a group of people, there was about 60, I took them up over uh, Sleeve Martin, so we, what we call Dan Might Stander. Yes. And we, we do that, so then we then go down into Fiddler's Green. So there was, oh, there was well over 200 people mm. and probably songs and stories and picnicking Absolutely. for about two and a half hours. I know of the festival, I know of its provenance, but I mean, uh, the name, Fiddler's Green, what's the, the, the derivation? Oh, what's it the, is from that actual, the, the Fiddler's Green, that area where we all meet. And, did and Fiddlers and go green, there? And fiddlers, yeah, that was, I mean, that is the Fiddler's Green you hear about in the songs. Yes. Um, you know, the, uh, oh, the guy who wrote that, was it, the guy who wrote the song originally, he's an Australian, and he, he came to Restrever for the festival as one of the musicians, and he said, he said he went up to Fiddler's Green to see it and he said he was very disappointed. 
because there wasn't bottles of rum hanging from every tree. <laughs> 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 but it was basically Fillers Green was an old uh, haven. There was the dock was down below, you know, uh, in in Rostrever. So people when boats yeah. would land there, the, the sailors would get off, and it was a clearing um, above, you know, and they would just walk up to this clearing yeah. and sit there yeah. and, 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 and a, relax. There was a tiny hut there. The what, yes. I remember the hut from years ago, yeah, my and, growing up. And I think the, the man who sold the minerals in it, Absolutely. Crush, he literally carried them from the bottom up Goodness on his gracious. back, you know, yeah. and you got your bottle of orange, no straws, just a No bottle. straws, you <laughs> yeah. a bottle of orange, that's amazing yeah. altogether. It's a place too, I'm going to talk about the Star Spine Gold mm. uh, Festival as well, but it's a place too of uh, conducive to healing, and your, your good lady, Cherie, She's a lady of healing capacity she and is, power. Yes, yes, yes. She's a, she's a well physiotherapist, Anna, but more and more now she does acupuncture. Acupuncture, acupuncture is, quite the, a lot. Yeah. is the big, yeah. big thing because it's it's just she you know some she and she treats other like not just physiotherapy type problems. She treats quite quite a lot of other things. You know. Yeah, well, she's very very holistic as yeah, I understand yeah, it. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, Cherie is a you know you have Cherie there doing her holistic. Uh, it's just a wholesomeness about what she does, mm -hmm. and go a little bit further out the road, and you, you have the miracle of the monks yes. in Rostrevor. Yeah. You know, I remember when they came here, uh, Mark and uh, Thierry and uh, Benoit and Eric. Uh, they were there as a fledgling group in the convent in off uh, in the middle of the city, yeah, in yeah. the town, and then they got the notion we must have a, a monastery and people got together and helped. Mm. And in part, the thing started off when Phil Coulter agreed to come to Newry Cathedral mm. and do a concert absolutely free for the monks of Ross River. And I remember to the day, I'll always remember it, when I went there to do a nationwide program with the monks, there hadn't been a, a sod cut on the site of the new monastery. But our opening shot was the lads in their white monk mm. habits piling out of the Renault car that they'd all come out the road in, parking up, racing across and looking out across the valley and we used some of uh, uh, Morricone's uh, film music of uh, how the West, the West was won or whatever uh, but it was, it was just they're so good mm. yeah. and then goodness followed goodness the whole way through yeah. Festivals aren't ending. There's another no, one no. coming. September. Do you never take a rest? Well, I do, but yeah. Eamon, unfortunately, I think he seems to go from one thing to the next. But uh, the, yes, what we have to look forward to in September is this uh, commemoration of the Star Spangled Banner. And it will be taking place on the 14th, 13th, 14th of September. Well, tell, tell those of us who ought to know more than we do know about the Star Spangled Banner. Yeah. Well, and well, the Rust Trevor connection. It's fascinating because, uh, and it's something that we only have discovered in recent years, partly because John McCabot has done a lot of yes. research on it. But uh, you could nearly say that um, Ross, in the stepping stones of people knowing somebody who knows mm -hmm. somebody. Mm -hmm. But it turns out during the campaigns in America when Ross was fighting, he ended up. Um, meeting this particular, uh, there was a doctor who had helped uh, people of both the opposing sides, mm. but he was captured by the British and he was taken to the one of the ships and he was expected to be detained for the duration of mm. the war. Mm. And there was a particular man who was a lawyer and who was also involved in the American side and he decided that he would go and ask Madison if he could go and pr uh, what you call ask, could he be released? So he went to the ship and uh, pleaded with uh, one, two of the generals, including mm -hmm. Ross, and they all said, no, 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 he's got to stay, he's going to be, he's a prisoner of war and he's not going to be alive. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, Ross turns out to be a very, very fine gentleman and understanding, and he listened, and when he realized that this doctor had not only helped the British, but he had helped the Americans, he said, no, he will be released. And then, uh, unfortunately, because the battles were still in process, they said, no, you can't go until after this particular offensive. 
and therefore this man, Francis Scott Key, had to stay on the ship. And while he was on the ship, the battle for Fort, Mac uh, Fort McHenry, McHenry. Uh, started. Mm. And he and his compatriots, including the doctor, were on deck and they could hear the battle, the sound of it, the cannons roaring, the noise, the smoke, everything happening during the night. And they couldn't see what was going on. And they were in trepidation, wondering uh, what's going to happen. And then the dawn started to break. And the clouds started, well not the clouds of smoke of war, drifted and through it they saw this flag being hoisted and they said, what is it? What is it? And they didn't know what it was going to be, the Union Jack or the Star Spangled Banner. And then in the distance this flag went up and they saw it was the Star Spangled Banner. And Francis immediately the thoughts through the dawn's early light. Oh, through say, the can dawn's you see? early light. Blah, so, blah. so he went down and in the back of the letter wrote the words of this poem, American. or not a poem, he wrote it and then he put it to, uh, actually it was an English uh, melody, but he didn't realise of course at that stage that in 1930s I think it would become the national anthem of America. Oh, America, you know? goodness so, gracious. Yeah. And of course you. they made a flag, which we will have, not quite have the real flag, but a replica of Rebel. the uh, universities over there, mm. are they, no, no, not universities, the uh, museum has loaned the us Smithsonian. a flag. Yes. Wow. Yeah. And this flag is 13 metres by 42. So we had a lot of discussion as to how we're yeah. going to show it off, but yeah. we'll keep that for another day. Yeah. I think you'll but see. But how are day. you going to celebrate the Star Spangled Banner well, in, a, we, in, a, in, a, in a festival? Yeah. We're having uh, some music on the square, we're having some bands like the American tradition, and then we're having the Pièce de Résistance is a fabrics display down at the monument. Wow. So we're linking Ross, the monument, the fireworks, and, and we're also linking with America. Yeah, and what we're going to do is the, the firework display will be will reproduce in a way and with our, the, the actual battle. Wow. So what yeah. we're doing is we're building a, a, a replica, a, a one-fifth size replica of Fort McHenry. But how do, where do you go in Restrever to get somebody to do that? Uh, well, we have a, one, one, of the lo <laughs> one of our lo a local man born and rare that's going to build it for us. Uh, it's going to be built out of wood. Um, and Goodness. obviously just gonna, he's basically going to build one wall. Oh, yeah, and then yeah. what we're going to the far so the fireworks display is going to be from a boat on the lock. Because obviously, yes. oh, yeah. because what happened was that mm. they were bombarded from ships. Yes. So we're going to have, so the fireworks are going to, so with fireworks we're going to look as if they're bombarding Fort McHenry. And then at the end of it, when the smoke clears, we'll raise the Star Spangled Banner. Not and the 30 by 42 foot. Not, not no, quite that big. <laughs> no. Not quite that big. We can't this quite Yeah, we reckon we'd need a, a flagpole um, 80 foot high yeah. for the big flag, so we yeah. haven't got one quite that big. But the, I'm just thinking about the monument, the Ross Monument. There was a lovely, in my book anyway, uh, there was a lovely notion that it could be a peace park leading to the future. Yeah. And there was some... There was some begrudgery about that, somebody picking it apart and saying it wasn't a good idea. But for me, it would be a lovely idea. Well, actually, I think very, very few people have taken the opportunity to go down there. And when you do go down and go up, walk up mm. the path and sit and yeah. look at the expanse of Carling Ford Lock, mm. your peace has got to come into your soul. Mm. Absolutely. So, um, and it's not about the celebration is, of war. Oh, absolutely. No, no it's not, about going yeah, beyond yeah, war. Yeah. I mean, all people yeah. have to recognise that. Yeah. And it's just the interesting fact that Ross, uh, even though he was a soldier, it's just the way that uh, I find personally that, you know, even it's a small village and yet we've touched the world. Mm. And the world has touched us, you might mm. say, because he, of course, campaigned in all parts of the Europe and then he was over in America and those wee bits are coming back, mm. linking with us in Ross River. The, uh Eamon, the, the, the Saga Pearl too. you would have had a good view of it from yes, Ross Yes, yes, I did. Did you manage to, I don't think you managed to get them out to visit you, because that would have been the best de resistance. There was, well, I mean, they kept, they stayed most of the morning, but there was, some visitors did apparently, did come, yeah. did come as far as Ross you know, we did. I mean, there was a lot of people around Ross last weekend. Ah, anyway, uh, you know? yeah, of course. <laughs> we yeah. seen them all, because we were walking, we'd walked up over Sleeve Martin, so we got a great view of them from both Sleeve Martin and from Clockmore. Yeah. We'd, we'd see Sleeve Martin's down there, and there's also, is there, is there Sleeve Father, the long Mountain. I've always heard yeah, of it referred to. That's the long strip. That and that's Leaf Hollow. Yes, yeah. I think yeah. so. Yeah. Behind yeah. Clock Moor. Well, you, you both remained in Ross River all your lives, as you say. Mm. Uh, what, what, how did you earn your living in Ross River? How did, did you, you must have had a, what did you do in your life? I was a teacher. Where did you teach? 
I taught for a year in Bestbrook, then I oh. taught in White Cross, and then I stopped and looked after my children. And That's then I a was, wonderful thing to have done. I was very fortunate that I got a job in my old school, mm -hmm. the Convent of Mercy in West Trevor. Why, for goodness so sake, I where the monks went? Yeah, no, so that, no, that, no, 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 the, the OLA on the hill. Yes. Yeah, the OLA's no, 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 were yeah. down at... No, uh, this is the Convent of Mercy yeah. just behind the church. Absolutely, absolutely. And I taught there for... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Quiet. Quiet. Oh, yeah. And I've left a little oh, while. Yeah. <laughs> Which that's all good, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Yeah. And Eamon, what about you? You're lo what's your profession? Well, my in life? I'm an engineer. Yeah. And what kind I, of engineer? I, 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 was, I, was, I took my degree was in civil engineering, but wow. I worked mostly in mechanical. Yeah. And I worked for, and then when I went to Canada, um, I got a job within a Swedish engineering company. Yeah. And uh, the, uh, SKF, they're quite a big. Company yeah. and then I worked for it, so I was there, sort of basically their manager for Ireland. So I used but to, I could base myself <coughs> wherever I wanted yeah. to be. But you guys have got it, you know, you've got it uh, beaten now. You're, I'm, you're both retired. No, I'm not retired. You're not retired. I'm retired. So I still you're work retired. in the clinic. Yeah. Retired, yes. yeah, yeah, but it's grand. You know, you're, you're you don't know, play golf tough. or anything oh, awful no, like no. that. No, I get up in the morning and. Um, sit around and read and then read I'm involved in the History Society and history side, yeah. uh, you do research into things like that and you walk and okay. you go up to the Kilbrony and of course as somebody said to me it's not the length of the road it's the width and that's yeah. the one thing about Restrever you meet people and you, you talk do. and you chat yeah. and you finally get home about two hours later. Than <laughs> 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 well I must say I, I, I do love going uh, up beyond the mast uh, there there's a lovely valley there, and I remember seeing the, uh, remember seeing the wild bird. I think it might have been a falcon or a peregrine falcon or something mm -hmm. like that, just hovering just on the horizon. And then, if you went far enough over, you could slide down the scree slope yeah. it's at your ease and yeah. end up on the Kilo and the old Kilo and Road yes. and walk back in again. Yes, yeah. But I remember one day. Uh, this isn't Russ Trevor's fault. It's entirely my fault. But it was a winter's day, I was up there in my boots, and I was coming down a very, very steep part of the, the mountain. And as can happen, my speed started to grow and grow and grow. And I suddenly realized I couldn't stop. Mm. So I was running, putting my feet into the ground, my heels into the ground, but I was still gathering speed. So I had to make a, a call on it, and the call it was, it was a rocky little path. The call was to look sort of three meters ahead and spot a piece of moss or boggy ground that I would, my head and shoulders would end up in. And that was the way I got out of it. I took the tumble yeah. to a predetermined yeah. soft yeah. site. Yeah. And that, that was, that, that yeah. was a excitement on the mountain. <laughs> I tell it was you. Danger on the hills. <laughs> but the new, the new people coming in now, the bike people in Ross Trevor, yeah. the mountain bike folk, is it, that's warmly welcomed, or uh, it is? Yeah, yeah. Funny if we had the Irish uh, mountain bike championships were on last weekend as well, right. so on Saturday and yeah. Sunday. So there was quite a few people in Saturday night. Is it, fit, is, it, is it fitting in with the ethos of Ross River? I think so. They they tend to be they tend to be more in the park rather than within the village. So yeah. you know, they, and they go they go and there's good facilities for them within the park. So mm -hmm. but you get them to come in for the you see them coming in for the odd cup of coffee and things like that. Mm -hmm. You know, so we always feel that it would be nice if we had a hotel, you would see more of them. But we don't. There's yeah. a very great lack of accommodation in in Rostrever, You know, but is that but is that's not necessarily a bad thing, Patricia? Because if you, you know, why 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 fix it if it's not broken? Like Rostrever is iconic, it's beautiful, it's unique as it is, and yet you're longing for an hotel. Maybe that would change the... Well, uh, possibly it's not even longing for a hotel, it's remembering what it was like. Oh, you'll and never get, years, you'll you know, never get you know, an hotel I like the old hotel. Well, that's yeah, there was, it, you there's know, there's a number of hotels, yeah. You yeah. hanker for those days, oh, yeah. and I mean, we had an exhibition in, in Rostrever last year, and what fascinated me was the number of young people who came in, and they couldn't get over it that there was four or five hotels in Rostrever. There was mm. a cinema, there was uh, shops. The Queen, I and, believe, saw oh. her first talking movie in Ross Trevor. No, I think it was one point, but in the... She told old, me it was, was Ross Trevor. Was it? No, I think it was the Flea Pit, as they would have called it. The wee one in one point round by the Balmoral. She said, she said but that I think she may with, have her, lived. with her sister, she spent summers in Ross Trevor. Yes, so I yes. think so, because Miss Lyons, 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 that yes, would have yeah. been her, mm. uh, Out of her the Woodhouse. mother's, was no, the, the Lodge. The Lodge. Kilbone yeah. Park, which is, yeah. uh, yes. The Lodge. So, yes, it's believed that she... Um, spent the time yeah. there. And well, of course, older people, are, mm. her uncle dropped anchor in the bay as of course. well. And, yeah. 
Um, well, irrespective of my accuracy or inaccuracy, she said to tell you both she was asking for you. <laughs> tell so you so drop, drop in if she wants to. Well, she would, why wouldn't she? Welcome. Indeed. <laughs> indeed. Now, the, 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 what's left of the Fiddler's Green now? Oh, know? this. well, I mean, from this is this is the start of the busy part from Thursday yeah. onwards. Every night now in the square, there'll be Kayleigh dancing, wow. which is very popular. We'll have Kayleigh band on in the square, and then we have a dance floor set up, and then there'll be quite a lot. That's mm. quite a lot. And then, and then quite a lot of, I mean, there's, uh, oh, there's music on every lunchtime. Uh, you get busy music from 12 o'clock every day. Goodness gracious. Uh, oh. And a substantial children's program as well, which mm. would, would wind up at the least. Who organises it in terms of, you know, this, it's a lot of effort here. Is, we have a relatively small committee, but we have... And is it a voluntary committee? It's a voluntary committee, totally goodness voluntary. And we're all, but thank goodness that we're all, um, we all know what we have to do and we're all hard work. Everybody has jobs to do and, and uh, it's a very extreme, we just said it Patricia on the way in, it's an extremely good committee because everybody works hard. You know, everybody, yeah. uh, but they all know what they have to do. Well, and they really do. I mean, <laughs> they need a lot of credit because yesterday evening we were up listening to uh, Down Memory Lane almost. It was the Beatles and various, oh, I yes. don't know who was it was playing. It was a very good. But afterwards, the committee are wandering around, picking up rubbish, picking up tins. Mm. They're cleaning up. They're not just, they're mm. literally getting their hands dirty and yeah. looking after yeah. the thing. Yeah. And I think we should be very, very grateful to them for well, that. Well, grateful to the, the whole ethos, wherever it's come from. Absolutely. It's come from the fairies or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> there in the, the fairy mm. glen. The fairy glen. What's the origin of the fairy glen in Rostrevo? Ah, well, the fairies, oh. the fairies possibly. What do you mean? Were there Good fairies? Good PR. Well, Were, I think depends what PR. time of night you wander up. It? <laughs> <laughs> depends whether you, how long you've stayed in Harry, Henry Cavanaugh's. Oh, <laughs> Maybe that's, that's, right. that's the other possibility. And who's to say? Well, yeah. Certainly not no, me. Because no, no, no. yeah. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't begrudge the fairies their opportunity to be around. But that's another possibility because I think Narnia may develop. Narnia is there. We're going to have the Narnia there. Trail yeah. very yes, shortly right, out, yeah. you know. Yes, so the future beckons. How do you see? Is there any hope of getting this hotel that you would like? Well, there's people have tried and yeah. I've, had, I've gone for plan information, but nothing's happened happened yet. Mm. But uh, I guess it, you know if if the time is right, it, it'll come. I think um, you know if you go if you if you believe that tourism is is going to be the way forward and the way to, mm. to bring jobs mm. into the place, uh, yeah. then then you need a hotel. I mean, I know you know a lot of people, for example, in the Great Northern, they pr provided an awful lot of employment as oh, well yes, as as well as, yeah. as as well as a social venue, oh, yeah. you know. I so remember the swing doors at the front. I know. And then going in into the lounge with the big lounge and the log <laughs> fire in winter time. Mm. And I would have gone up to the high the point point of the mountain with my dog, beautiful beautiful Norwegian elk hound, and we would have mm. slid down the scree slope I spoke yes. about, come back to the hotel, gone through this, uh, and I was allowed, I don't know why, but I was allowed to have Rex lying at my Beside feet in front yeah. of the fire. Yeah. And uh, I have to say, the, the hot rums experienced on those <laughs> occasions were very special indeed. Yeah. Oh, it was a special memory for everyone, I think, because ah, yeah. First Communions, weddings, we everything, yeah. were all absolutely, like that there, Absolutely, absolutely. So, uh, Remind the people again of the date of the Star, the Star Spangled Banner Festival. It's in September 13th, 14th. 13th and 14th of September yes. in yes. Ross River. It's at the Saturday and Sunday. So Saturday and Sunday. Sunday. We yes. Make a weekend of it because yeah. you can go and camp in Ross River, go yeah. and picnic, yes. barbecue, whatever, all of that's possible. Yeah. yeah. And uh, then Fiddler's Green goes on until when? Until this Sunday. Until, until this Sunday. Sunday finally, yeah. finally with the concert in the GAA club, is that the, right? The, the final concert in the GAA club mm. with the Sands family. With the Sands on, family, on yeah. that. That's, we've, we've had that, I think, for about 10 yeah. years now. We finish up with that. Funny enough, the girls, uh, this, the daughters of Tommy, Colm and Anne, yes. were in with me yesterday. Oh, were they? Oh. Yeah. They have a new group. It's yes. uh, the Irish, I can't pronounce the La, Irish. Uh, Nalian. 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 It's uh, the children, yes. they say. Yes. But what a lovely, what a lovely yeah. title for them. Yeah. Yeah. Children, you know, <laughs> yeah, well, they did a concert. They're going to be appearing on Saturday night. But they're very sweet. Yeah, they're, they are. The, the they're sound they're girls. turning out they is have. sweet. It is. And they've been practicing on Skype. Yes. Yeah, they're in different <laughs> parts of the world. Yes, you know. That's right. Oh, the modern know. version. Yeah. Goodness gracious, yeah. I tell you. But it's wonderful to see the, the musicality of the grandparents mm. coming through in the yes. children. Yeah, yeah, know, yeah. Really, that's really, really it satisfying. Is. Well, I'm very grateful to the Perry for coming in. I hope you've enjoyed it. And... Uh, if you'd be kind enough to give your uh, your website to or your email address to Ryan, our man here, yes. at the end of the program, we shall send you the link, and you can put it and use it on your website as much as you want. 
Okay. There's only one cost for this, and it's a promise that you will come back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> our Scottish, our Scottish neighbours would tell you, haste ye back. Mm. So let it be, haste ye back. Go well. well Take okay. care. We'll see. You. And give us, <laughs> however, my, my good regards. We will. Yeah. Take care. And you'll be well, right. very welcome, Diane. I know this thing. I know this thing. Yeah. Music, Ryan, please. <laughs>